first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Hello guys, welcome to my channel DIY Repair Now. Today we're going to be working on a Frigidaire side-by-side -side refrigerator. The model number it's on the display. And the problem that we have with this refrigerator is that we are getting a H1 air coat on the freezer um, setting and we get in a H1 air coat on the refrigerator setting. The temperature is kind of warm inside and this H1 air coat means that the refrigerator is above 55 degrees. That's where the thermistor and the vent is the damper. When it's only showing H1 on the refrigerator side, you can replace the uh, uh, damper. 90% of the time, the damper is gonna be the problem if it's only showing H1 on the refrigerator side. However, we are getting H1 on both sides, and like I said before, this means that the, the temperature is above 55 degrees on each side. That means the 55 um, the freezer has above 55 degrees temperature and the refrigerator has above 55 temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and start by removing this panel to be able to check our compressor. By the way, this is a one quarter, uh, one quarter screws in this panel. Excuse the mess. I know a lot of people, you know, comment um, about this kind of things. We touch in the compressor. The compressor is off, and but it's warm. We can see the fan motor, the condenser fan motor, working. So it's not the condenser fan motor. So we're gonna go ahead and start checking to see if we get in power to the compressor. But if the compressor is warm, that means we are getting power. We're just gonna verify it with our tester. Like I was saying, um, when I got to the house, um, and this house is like five kids and I told the lady if she can give me a broom and a mop to clean back there. She went inside her room and never came out. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the harness from the relay. I always recommend to disconnect the appliance to be able to work with no power. I grab my needle nose to try to wiggle this relay out, but when I was working, as you can hear, the compressor came on, so I left it I left it run for a little bit. And the compressor, as you can hear, it turns on, but now, when you heard that click, that means the compressor turned off again, so it only comes on for a couple seconds, and then it turns off. We're gonna go ahead and remove the harness to be able to check if we get in voltage. Now this is the harness that goes to the compressor relay. And if you don't own a tester, you can find one, we can find a link on the description of this video. If you're testing for voltage, you put it on the yellow arrow um, to check for voltage and you, will should, you should be getting 115, 120 volts. And as you can see, it's beeping and we get a voltage. So that means the main control board is sending voltage to the um, compressor and the compressor relay. Now is a clip that holds the relay in place. We're gonna grab like a needle nose and we're gonna remove the uh, metal clamp from the relay. Now we're gonna go ahead and wiggle the um, relay out. Just wiggle it with a screwdriver. It comes out 
completely. And here we have it. Now on this relay is a um, capacitor. Sometimes when you wiggle the relay like that and it's, and you can hear a lot of rattling inside, that means it's the relay as well, but sometimes I don't go by that. As you see, we have a capacitor incorporated with the relay. So we're gonna go ahead and check if this capacitor is still right. Now it says 15 UF. And we're gonna go ahead and put the tester in MFD, which is microfarads reading. And we are getting 15 microfarads on this capacitor. So the capacitor is fine. It looks like we have a bad relay or a bad compressor. Now, go ahead and disconnect the refrigerator. Like I said, if you have a tester, that means you know how to work with uh, electricians. So that part of the test, you can do it with power on. But if you're not familiar with using a tester, if you don't know how to work with electricity, just go ahead and disconnect it and forward the video to replace, uh, to install this um, universal relay which they call it hard starter or three in one hard starter which it brings a relay a run capacitor inside and it brings the possibility to add the existing capacitor from the old relay you can see the diagram how it is supposed to be installed and you got to make sure by the one brings the two terminals to be able to install the relay the way I'm gonna show you in this moment. See, the ones brings those two, those two terminals is the one you're gonna need. If you have a relay that brings a capacitor, sometimes the relays doesn't bring a capacitor. There's another diagram. If you wanna go ahead and test the compressor, go ahead and look for this video on my channel and i will show you how to test the windings inside the compressor you will have to set the tester on reading ohms but in that video is how i show you how to test the compressor but you have to own a tester if you want one of these testers it's a link on the description of the video to be able to buy one those terminals are the ones that goes to the compressor to the compressor and the black terminals goes to the power just follow the video alone and you'll be able to do this repair yourself. You're also going to go ahead and find a, re a this universal hot starter relay on the description of this video. If you want to go ahead and get it from Amazon, eBay, Repair Clinic, or um, or in the uh, in the description of the video is about three or four links from different places where you can get it. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the two black terminals that comes from the um, new R starter relay. We're gonna go ahead and with the wire nut, I'm sorry that cable was getting in the way and I didn't realize that it was blocking my camera, but you get the idea. You still can see how I'm doing it right there. Then we have another three cables. We're gonna go ahead and install the wire nut right there to secure the cables. Um, and the other side we have the uh, three cables is gonna be a black cable with a terminal, a red cable and a white cable, which is the common start and run cables we're gonna go ahead and look at the diagram and make sure we do it right the diagram bring a specification diagram to show you how to install this relay so it's really simple you just gotta excuse me see I got the um, uh, paperwork right there you can see the diagram clear right there And like I said, you guys just got to excuse me for the mess because I was asking the lady for a broom and a mop. 
to be able to do this repair clean but you know sometimes you gotta work in this type of scenarios in this case it was not on me so just excuse me for the mess on this video see i got the black one and the white one installed already the only one i got left is the red one which they call it the run the black one is the common does the i mean the the black one yeah the black one is the common the white one is the start and the red one they call it run so it's pretty simple just follow the video and you'll be able to do this repair yourself like i said i didn't check the windings on this compressor because the compressor was hot and sometimes when the compressor is hot the windings throw you off and they don't give you good readings so i decided just to go ahead and replace the uh, relay i frame the picture right there the way you can see exactly how i installed them and there's the diagram making sure everything is connect the right way and that's how i connect the um, run capacitor Then you can just go ahead and uh, put the relay inside however you can fit it in there. Sometimes I put a black tape around it just make sure those terminals are not going to come out and touch any metal. But uh, you can see the very minimum space that I'm working here in the conditions. For those who said that I never cleaned the condenser coils sometimes i just don't put it on camera because i bring the vacuum it makes a lot of noise but i always clean the uh, coils as you can hear the compressor just um, came on and the fan just kicked on you can hear it right there it's loud and clear and at the time i'm recording this video it's been a week with no issues so this job was a success we're gonna go ahead and start picking up and hopefully the lady comes out like i said i clean the condenser coils however i can now you clean that piece of vent on the um, cardboard panel because those little holes on the right side are basically the grill, the vent grill. That's where it grabs air and it throws it through the front of the refrigerator uh, and the bottom. But at this point, we're pretty much done. We just need our one quarter bed to install screws one quarter screws and at this point we're pretty much done like i said and yes the lady did came out and kind of cleaned back there and we going back it's still gonna flash h1 you press any button and that should clear it up and it should go back to normal as long as it reach above i mean lower than 55 degrees and that's it if this video helped you in any way please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos thanks for watching